And welcome back to Yahoo Finance. We had discouraging news from GM. They're suspending their quarterly dividends. But Tesla's stock, it is trading at this moment up over almost, it's almost up 8%. Let's bring in Rick Newman. He follows Tesla. And there was this story that Tesla managers actually wanted their employees to come back uh, before they got the all clear from health officials. Yeah, Tesla, Tesla's been a little sketchy. They actually stayed open longer than they should have, according to uh, California uh, rules, emergency rules. They actually had to be forced to close. And now it looks like they're trying to get people back to work. Uh, you know, just as a contrast, the way the uh, other big automakers here in the United States are doing it, GM, Ford and Chrysler, at least, they're negotiating 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 with the United Auto Workers. So they're, you know, figuring out what are the right uh new processes to put in place and make sure people are operating safely on the assembly lines. And they're just kind of going through it in a stepwise, stepwise process. But Tesla saying, bring everybody back. Hey, Rick, you know, I obviously you follow Tesla very closely. And I just kind of want to get an idea for how this kind of lines up with the way the company operates in general, right? We, we talk about how uh, they had missed projections for uh, vehicle deliveries in the past. That's picked up uh, a lot more. They have their plant open in China, uh, but this seems to be uh, kind of a greater issue uh, pointing to mismanagement uh, from Tesla. Is that, is that the feeling that you have? Uh, I, Tesla does everything differently. I mean, you know, they don't have dealerships the way other automakers do. Uh, their workers are not unionized. Uh, they're not, they don't belong to the UAW. And by the way, some of the foreign automakers that operate in the South aren't union members either. You know, Dan, the thing I'm wondering um, is um, what's the hurry and where are people actually buying cars? Um, you know, one of the issues about getting people back to work is we're suddenly in a recession and probably a severe one. Uh, and people just normally do not spend a lot of money on a durable good unless they really have to during a uh, during a recession like we're seeing now. So um, Tesla must think that the demand is there somewhere or at least they need to get their inventories bulked up or something. I don't know if this is. Uh, for export or if they think they, the, the demand is there in the U.S. market right now. But I guess Tesla thinks there are a lot of people who really want to buy a car right now. That surprises me. Uh, Rick, we're seeing in some cases employees who will not go back to work in some areas. Would Tesla be honest with us if they encountered that, if their employees said, uh, no way? I don't think so, uh, because Tesla just, you know, it kind of tries to do things its own way. And, uh, you know, you, this, is, this is a whole problem lots of business are, are going to have to deal with. And another issue here is the liability. Uh, if you call uh, workers back before the state says it's OK, for example, what if somebody gets sick and what if somebody dies uh, because they got called back to work and you can make a credible case they got sick on the job? Um, so uh, that is I mean, if Tesla's really doing that against what the governor and local officials say is the right thing to do in California, you would think that's a liability issue. And I've heard some legal experts say we are we are possibly facing an explosion of litigation among companies that uh, try to open up too early. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.